Hey, hey, Fusers. Today I'm going to cover one of the features everyone needs and loves in any front-end software, navigation. Navigation can be a cruel mistress at times, so I'm going to walk you through the basics of how it works within Centrifuge and how to ensure you can keep a strong lock on those satellites. So first things first, make sure you have the navigation version of Centrifuge installed. There's a standard version and a navigation version available on the website. Make sure you've purchased the right one and have downloaded and installed the separate map packs available from your account page. The map packs come in a set of four files. Just run the first exe file from the pack and the other rare files will fall in line. Also be sure to have your GPS module or puck connected to your system. All the correct drivers installed for it and your computer is already reading the data correctly from it. To verify that your machine is reading the module correctly, there are several small free software utilities out there that will read your data back to you. If you're having trouble finding some, just jump on the forums and someone will be sure to help you out. Now that we have our nav engine, maps, and app installed, we'll launch Centrifuge and configure it to read the data from the GPS module. Enter System, Settings, and select Navigation, but make sure you have Advanced Settings on first. You'll need to enter in the port, baud rate, and GPS protocols that refer back to your module. If you aren't familiar with these, they should be in a user manual for the GPS module or be shown to you from said previous software. Now there's a whole bunch more options here that you can configure, like avoiding U-turns when possible, setting your home location, or designating what types of notification you will receive from the system, but we don't want to edit any of these right now. So just click save and return to the home screen while we launch our navigation app. If everything went according to plan, you'll notice a green or yellow arrow in the center, instead of a big red X like you see here. I can't get a signal right now unfortunately for this demo because I'm in a building. So like I said, here's your navigation home screen. By default, you'll see your current street in the header accompanied by your speed and direction off to the right. Click this button here to get a quick preview of your media header, where you can switch tracks and jump back to the media player if you like. It will return to the nav header after 5 seconds. Now, to ensure you're locked in good, click the current location text in the header, and it will flip to show your altitude and satellite lock. If you only have a handful of satellites connected, your arrow icon will be yellow, but a good secure lock of 5 or 6 satellites, you'll get a green one. That's when you know you're ballin'. Chicks dig a good green satellite connection. Moving on more to the center area, you can of course see your map and current location on said map. To get a larger view of the map, simply click the center area to expand, and zoom in and out with these clear buttons on the left. Zooming in will begin to reveal POIs or points of interest you have visible. However, it can quickly become cluttered with a lot of POIs on the screen. So I'll show you how to turn these off in just a few minutes. Now, if this is your first time opening the navigation app, you'll need to select the right map for your area first. To do this, click Menu, New Address, the Settings button on the bottom right, and then change map. From this list you'll see all of your available maps. Scroll down, find and select the one of your area and you're good to go. X out of the screen and return back home. Let's move to the footer now. You see we still have your volume and close controls tapped into each corner but we've also got a view and a main menu button. The view button is mostly for how you are presented the map. 2D or 3D, north orientation, day and night skins, or turning on and off voice notifications. The main menu is where the action happens. From here, we can set a new destination, return home, look into our history, check out our favorites, avoid roads, and quickly load up a handful of POIs from page two. Now the first thing I would do with this menu, after of course selecting your local map like we did earlier, is set your home location. So you see if we select that option, we have to enter in our home address first. So first off, you can see it wants us to enter in the city first. I'm in New York. Next, uh, it wants us to enter in the street, so let's enter that in. And finally, the street number. The first time you enter in your home address, Centrifuge tries to take you there, but forget all that. To cancel this route at any time, just click the Cancel Route button from the main menu. Now, let's actually go somewhere. Click Menu and New Address. 
However, I don't remember what city we're headed to, so I'd rather start with the street. Click the back button and select Street City. This will let me enter in the address in a different format. You can see here I start with the street, move into the city where there's only one, and then the house number. Now, once we've got our destination entered, there's a nice new header to look at. You'll notice which direction we'll be turning next, and in how many yards, also what street we'll be turning on, and which street we were currently on. Right now, I can't see the street I'm on because I'm indoors. Also, the arrival time of our destination, which can be cycled through with a click to see the remaining time and distance. Feel free to click the red direction arrow icon at any time to preview a list of your upcoming directions. Let's dive back into those POIs we talked about earlier. Go into the menu once again, page 2, more POIs. Here is a list of all the POI categories included with centrifuges. By default, they are all visible. To me, this is a little overwhelming, so I suggest you turn them all off and only use the ones you need. We'll click the Show Hide button on the left, here, which will put us into Show and Hide mode, where everything will turn yellow. Begin clicking the category to turn it on or off designated by the hidden or showing eye icon. Select the show hide button again to exit this mode. To load a certain POI, say a shopping center, simply click into that category and select your destination. Routing will begin automatically. So that's just a quick rundown of navigating in centrifuges. If you have any questions, head on over to our forums and give us a holler. Thanks everyone.